All right, got another, all right, got another one here, Lawrence. Lamborghini to Honda. Hyundai. Hey, Lou. What's going on, Lawrence? Hope you're doing well. I am doing much better. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, thought you might like this video. Reminds me of the things you said. Let me see here. When I was 23 years old, I bought a Lamborghini in cash, $317,000. One year later, after driving that, I realized, man, Lamborghinis are actually not very fulfilling. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to trade that Lamborghini in, and I swapped it over to a 2010 Honda. So the country club that I'm in is a very prestigious country club. It's the most expensive neighborhood. Jake Paul's my neighbor, a couple billionaires, they're all here. And my wife gets pulled over, and then the security guard goes, you can't park here. The employees have to park on the other parking lot. And then she still looks and super confused, like, no, I'm just going to the gym. And then the security guard in total embarrassment. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. It's just that you're driving a car that the employees normally drive. Man, this is an eight-figure entrepreneur. He drives a Honda Accord. That's the price of living a humble life. And personally for me, I kind of like it. There's something really special about working in silence and succeeding in silence when other one else knows about it. Now it's 23 years yeah. old. You know, it's one of the interesting things about it. Um... Let me tell you the funny thing about money. One, I believe, if you're young, because I, I I was young also, and I went through my episode of the European sport cars and all that shit. I, I, I did that. Been there, done that, whatever. I lived in Beverly Hills. I fucked around. I, I did all kinds of weird shit. Trust me. I, I, I had that life of like, I look back and I go, how the fuck did I survive all that shit? Money spent, blown, whatever all over living in south beach on the fucking bay hanging out with dolphins and brazilians i did i did it all and then i met myself and i realized something once you know who you are what you're comfortable with what you like what you don't like what you want around you your vision for the future what you consider value it's kind of hard to accessorize like a woman going to the club. You want to buy a Lambo? Buy a Lambo. Do I need a Lambo? Not to run my errands. You know, it's one of these weird things. And if you need to get that out of your system, rent one. But it's so true. It changes your way of, of, of being and thinking. It's a totally different type of thought process and it will protect you. Let me tell you why it also will protect you. People around you, you want them to want you in their life versus having them wanting to be in your life. And I believe that when you accessorize and put all those doodads on you and you're the person, trust me, you're going to have a lot of people around you and they're going to be there because of the money. And that's a hollow feeling. That's a good video. At the end of the day, thank you. Because Lawrence, a lot of people are gonna learn that lesson. And at the end of the day, who the fuck do, who who are you gonna who are you gonna impress? We all die and leave this place with nothing. You gotta make sure you do good stuff with the money. I could I commit to you now. I'm never gonna fucking buy a Lambo or any of that shit like that now. Can't even fit in that fucking thing. I'm like six three. Um a regular fucking truck or something like that, you know. Cybertruck has like a, a, I don't know, a year wait or something. I'm like, that's crazy. Um, but something stupid like that. Then do amazing shit for good people. You know what you do? Invite the people that you think that care about you to a, like a, you know, over to your home, current home. Tell them that you lost everything. You don't have anything. Just tell them like that. Straight out, you're fucking broke. When you're down. The people that are willing to get down on one knee with you and look at you at that level and say, it's okay. We'll be okay. Protect those motherfuckers. Let me tell you something. That, that's going to bring you more reward than you could ever imagine. So, giant hooks.